It's Thursday, January 11th, and today we'll cover the trades for the good old Yield Max High Income ETFs, TSLY and CONY. So, um, and I apologize if I'm talking a little lower than usual, but um, as you know, I do sometimes, I'm making the video really early in my garage while everyone's asleep. All right. So here's the official announcement from Gary Gensler. Uh, the commission approved the listing and trading of a number of spot, coin, spot Bitcoin exchange traded product ETFs. Okay, that's great. Now let's see what they approved. So 11, Bit, this is Investopedia now, 11 uh, spot Bitcoin ETFs have been approved. I'm not going to go through them all, but you can see BlackRock is the big one. Uh, I don't even know, you know, Fidelity, Grayscale's on there. So, you know, 11 got approved. I'm not sure how many, does it say how many didn't get approved? No. But, all right, whatever. And then last but not least, real quick, what is a spot uh, Bitcoin ETF? I mean, in summary, it just holds Bitcoin, right? Um, so it tracks, you know, they... Right now, there there's several Bitcoin um, ETFs, but they they just do the track the futures, right? The price of the futures, um, but and now they're you know they finally got approval that the actual fund will physically own um, you know Bitcoin or other crypto, which is pretty cool. And then you know once that news came out, it came out like after hours yesterday, coin blew up right it was in the 160s it's kind of settled just look at the movement man this is insane this the implied volatility is going to get even higher which means our premium for coney is going to get even better but right now it's up five percent so all right so anyway i just wanted to cover i don't really cover news much but that's pretty big news that affects coney so um i'll cover coney first so coin had uh, Coin, Coney had three transactions yesterday, and as you know, when you see three transactions on the intraday trades, typically it's a uh, adding to the synthetic position and opening a new position, um, and that's exactly what they did. This time, three thousand sixty contracts, which is a lot, because if you look, let me zoom in a little. This is Coney. We haven't had that many contracts in one day outside of starting the synthetic position. And that's almost a third of the starting synthetic position. So needless to say, um, there's there's a lot of interest now in Kony. Maybe it's because of the spot uh, Bitcoin ETF. Who knows? All right. So they added 3,060 contracts. And again, in order to add um, to the synthetic, they have to do a buy call sell put and right now since the price of coin is below well again this is yet for yesterday the price of coin is below the strike still is um the buy call was cheaper than the sell put so we actually got a credit we got a credit of 5.2 million we had, and then we had to pay a debit for the call of 1.4 million so down in green right this um this will show you again how ha- ha- Right now in green, this is how much it is to close the synthetic position. Um, because we're, again, we're sh- it's going to cost us $34.2 million to um, close out this position as of, you know, close of yesterday. But right now, coin, since it's going up, this $34.2 million debit is now going to be looking pretty good probably by the end of today. So when I do tomorrow's video... Um, this is probably not going to be an issue anymore. And someone made a comment yesterday in t- yesterday's video, um, you know, it, that this, it really doesn't matter, right? Um, it's already in the, in the nav. Yes, th- that is true. And what he means is the, the amounts I represent in green, it's already baked into the nav. Yes, but it's not an actual loss. It's, it's right, right now it's, it's all on paper, right? So but if the time comes and we have to pay this amount, then it's a loss. We don't want losses. I don't know about you, but um, it matters to me. I want the trades to work out. So, and how do we know 
it's in the nav well you can go to the outstanding shares right for coney and you could see right here's the uh on the top the sell put right how much would it cost to close it see the market value right it shows you know a lot of money three eight three one two what is that it's 38 million 38.3 million right so we go to our sheet 38.3 million so that's where i'm getting the numbers right so again this 34 million that's what's going to cost to uh So there's a 34, it's a running tally, isn't it? Sorry, one sec. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's actually going to cost you, cost us 29.2 million, 34.2. I'm sorry, that, that's actually the final amount that's going to be made uh, when all said and done. But once they do, they close out this indebted, it's actually 29.2 million, if that makes sense. And, and that's the 38.3 debit and the $9 million credit, okay? So yes, that's already in the NAV. The price, you know, it won't change, right? J just because they're doing this, but it, it'll be official. It's, right now it's on paper, um, um, but if they, uh, if they have to take the hit, then it'll be a taxable event. Anyway, enough about that. Sorry for dragging on here. All right, so Coney price yesterday uh, went down 0.09%, and then Coin went down 0.46%. So Coney outperformed Coin, which is really good. The 3,060 that they added to the synthetic, they opened that, um, you know, they sold the call expiring into next week. So now this, this one's looking at what seven trading days left. Okay, one seventy strike, twelve percent out of the money. Okay, that's that's a little lower than they usually do, but it's okay, twelve percent out of the money. Um, but you know, knowing what's what the news that was coming out in the same day, that's actually kind of risky. But we'll see we'll see how it turns out. Uh, they got one point two million for their troubles, which adds now to the total. Take a look at this uh, cash and treasuries twenty point six million dollar increase, it's pretty impressive. All right, uh, outstanding shares is now at fourteen million, growing and growing and growing. This fund uh, total income from the the calls seven million. Total distribution from the weekly calls alone, I'm showing fifty cents already. Insane. Daily income ten cents a day. Could you imagine making ten cents a day? Um, and then daily yield 0.43% per day, you know, per day, per day. Visa pays that annually. I don't know. Last time I checked, they were pretty low, but it's just crazy. All right. So let's go to the active trades. There's just so many. Oh my God. All right. Um, I probably need to delete that 200. I'm not going to do that right now. All right. So going from smallest to largest the lowest strike we now sit on which expires this friday luckily uh 1200 contracts 167.50 that's 10 percent out of the money so we'll see how today goes i think last we looked we were up five percent um so hopefully uh you know it's only 1200 contracts so we could probably afford to take a hit on that one and then we have 590 contracts with a 170 strike 12 percent out of the money expires this friday that one, again, not a lot of contracts, so we could probably take the hit. This one's a little uh, kind of probably in trouble. 3,060 contracts with a 170 strike. Again, 12% of the money, but this one expires next Friday. So we'll see what happens. Um, after that, we have 1,500 contracts at a 172.50 strike, 14% out of the money. That expires uh, this Friday. Then we have... The majority of the contracts sitting 7,660 at a 172.50, 14 out of the money, which is pretty good, but that's for next Friday. And then we have 1,030 contracts with a 175 strike. That's 15 percent out of the money. That's for this Friday. That's 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 uh, that'll be fine, I'm sure. 
but you never know. 6,320 contracts at 182.50 strike, 20% out of the money. That expires this Friday. So that one, could you imagine if we hit 182.50? I mean, that's not happening, but that would be crazy. 30-day IV is 82%. I expect this number to be much, not much larger, but maybe 85, maybe 90 even. I don't know. Tomorrow we'll see what happens. Um, so possible gains we're going to look at. We could earn up to 361 with all these calls. Um, current price of Coney is 23.17. So again, that's uh, that'll bring us up to $26. Coney, uh, I know, the reaction is still the same. I'm sorry, but I still see money signs on this one. So here's a breakdown now. Um, I don't think our synthetic income is in jeopardy anymore uh, after this result of the announcement. I'm not sure if we'll hit the 165, um, but it damn sure seems like it at this point. So synthetic income currently is 4.4 million, short call income. 7 million total net income is 11.4 million outstanding shares is 14 million so again as that grows we have to share the money so we're looking at about 81 cents right now or a 90 percent payout of 73 cents so really really uh good stuff for uh coney and and a very interesting day today um you know i look forward to it all right let's go to uh tesley All right, so Tesla synthetic. Oh, probably want to know the trades, right? Tesla, um, when you go to the intraday trades, same thing, three trades, which means, um, you know, again, the, the type matters too. So take a look out for that. B for buy, buy call, and then S, short sale. Um, so they're selling the put. And then, you know, so the buy call, sell put, that's the synthetic. And then the bottom below that is the uh, sell call. Okay, 165 contracts. So I added that to the synthetic position and since Tesla is priced below the strike still, 233.94 versus 250, the buy call was much cheaper than the sell put, so we got a credit for that. And again, I'm adding that to the January profits, which will go into the last tab, and as you'll see for synthetic income. So it will cost us, well, again, I have to fix, when I say cost, that'll be the net amount earned for the synthetic. So I have to do this plus this, since we're talking about the synthetic a lot. Okay, it'll cost us 60.5 million um, to close out this position. Again, it's already baked in the nav. Yes, I know that, but it'll be an actual you know, taxable event which again they could use to net against future um you know income which means you could see possible um you know return of capital down the road based on this or tesla could recover you know just like coin is going to probably recover but i don't know if there's any any news coming out anytime soon but we'll see i know earnings is coming up i probably should add that date to this all right, so how did we do yesterday? The Tesla gods did not answer my call. Tesla was down 0.43%. Tesla was down 0.37%. So at least Tesla beat Tesla as always. Not as always, but most of the time. Um, contracts, we're looking at 165 contracts. They used a strike price of 2.59%. Okay, if they did this and expired Friday, I'd be like, okay, that's, that's okay. That's, you know, I'm, that's actually decent. But they did this to next Friday. So seven trading days, they really, they don't think Tesla's going to go above 2.59%. And for those of you that say, well, they're trying to earn the most income they can. Well, really, are they? What if it goes above the strike? Then this is just a waste of money. Then we're going to have to pay you know, more than the 330 that we got. So again, maybe they know something as they typically, you know, who knows? I don't know. But right now that's, that's, that's one of the lowest out of the money calls that I've seen. 
2.59% based on the amount of days. So it doesn't leave room, you know, for, for much there. Because if you take, let's see if you take, uh, what do we got here? We do equals, take that number, divided by seven days. Shit, is it seven or six? I keep forgetting to check if Monday's a holiday. Yeah, it's not even in the, uh, let's assume six. Yeah, forget it. Doesn't mean, it's not even worth mentioning how much we can earn. Well, if you go to sell... Point, we can earn point three four three percent a day. All right, whatever. Sorry about that. I, I know you guys probably don't even care, but that's you know, they sold. It's a very small position too, so I'm not gonna go crazy on it. But 165 contracts at a 240 strike um, got us fifty four thousand dollars, which you know it's not really a lot anyway. But um, cash and treasuries did go up three point three million. Oh, I didn't mention this on Coney, but um, they moved um, a lot of cash most of the cash they moved it to treasuries now this is a normal process and it's it's good and all but my question is looking ahead we need uh 60 million to close this out i know it's probably gonna be less but it's uh we need 60 million dollars cash to close that out why, why are they moving money now you figure they would wait till they the synthetic position uh gets gets rolled, but I don't know. That that was just weird to me. Outstanding shares for Tesla is also increasing. We're up to eighty two point seven million. Really cool. Um, short call income eight point one million. That's a uh, noise. Total distribution we're looking at ten cents or two cents a day or point eighteen percent daily yield. Again, it's not the Coney results, but again, Tesla, Tesla will have its time. Don't worry. It's just Coney, Coney's hogging the spotlight, you know, for quite a while now. But time, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll slow down. All right, going into uh, this week and next week at this point, um, we have, can I update the appropriate dates? The two... Yeah, the 240 is for next week. Okay, yeah, the 240 is the first contract going into next week. All right, so we have 810. No, I'll start from the bottom because that's the lowest. 165 contracts. Again, this is the, the most recent one they added. 240 strike, 2.59% out of the money. But again, that's based on six to seven trading days. 830 contracts. They got 240, 50 strike, 3.66% out of the money. Uh, this is for Friday, though, so two trading days. I'm okay with that. 11,240 contracts, 245 strike, 4.73% out of the money. That expires uh, Friday. Again, the rest of these expire Friday. I'm not going to keep saying that. Uh, 7,190 contracts, 247.50, 5.8% out of the money. 380 contracts, 250 strike, 6.87% out of the money. And 17,685 contracts with a 250, 250 strike. 7.93% out of the money. Last but not least, 810 contracts, 257.50, 10% out of the money. I mean, long story short, we are, we are sitting pretty for this Friday. The only small concern is the 165 contracts, which go into next week. But I figured, I guess they figured they'd just be brave since they're going to make, you know, all of these are essentially going to be 100%, almost 100% profit. 30-day IV, 46%. Come on, let's get that up. Earnings coming up, so that should go up soon. Price of Tesla is 1085. Unfortunately, it's under $11. Again, here we go. Uh, possible gains, though, we can get at least 71 cents, which will put us back over $11. Uh, my reaction, you know, this goes towards the, uh, you know, the uh, 165 contract, which only went 2.59% on the money. And it's just, my reaction, you know, not looking forward to see what happens with a synthetic in general because Tesla price is just not moving, right? 
Um, so hopefully we get some movement today, but who knows? So if we go to the payment, you know, again, this one synthetic income could be in jeopardy. We have 3 million synthetic income, 8.1 short call income. Um, that's 11.1 total net income, 82.7 outstanding shares, uh, 82.7 million. So we're looking at 14 cents or 12 cents uh, per share. Now, I looked at pre-market for coin. Actually, let's, let's refresh that one more time just to check. So if I refresh this, again, right now, it's like four in the morning, so I'm not sure how people are even buying. So the, that's, uh, that was coin. Let me refresh Tesla. Let's see. We get some green here. Oh, thank God. Here we go. 0.75%. So uh, we're, looking, we're looking okay. Let's, 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 move. <clears throat> let's get moving upwards, guys. We can certainly afford it. You know, that's 235.70. Look at these. Look at all these contracts. The majority of the contracts, 250, 250, expiring Friday. So we need Tesla to move. We can afford it, guys. You know, I don't even care about these little contract, this 830 contract. <clears throat> Let's blow past that. Let's get the 245. <clears throat> Let's get the 250. Screw it. No, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, just, I'm just hoping for some green for the rest of the week for, uh, for Tesla. And then it'll, we'll be sitting, you know, pretty. Um, but again, I apologize for the low voice, but it's really early and I want to wake up the entire house. Um, but I wanted to get this video out early because I got up uh, super early today to do some of the some additional research. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, uh, which, you know, but this, you know, as always, this is for fun and entertainment. So if you did have fun, please always um, try to click that like button. Um, that's all I really ask. Obviously, I think it helps the uh, algorithm and all that and gets the video popping up for other people. So I'm told. Um, or you could always share it. You know, if you're in high yield dividend groups or chats or you have Twitter, you know, retweeting my tweets uh, where I share my video, that's always appreciated too. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for today. If you have any uh, questions or you want to make a comment on any of this spot Bitcoin ETF, you know, let me know. What do you guys think? Is that good? Is that bad? Um, do you care? Do you not care? Do you just want Coney to pay you money? I don't know. Again, I don't own crypto, but I haven't even checked Bitcoin pre-market. I'm, I'm sure that's doing pretty good. Well, there is no pre-market. Bitcoin's always open, but... But yeah, it's a uh, it's good news, um, you know, on the Coney side. But hopefully uh, Tesla gets some good news too, very soon. Let's hope. All right, gotta go. Hope you guys enjoy your day, and I will talk to you later.